Joining me now is CNN military analyst General Wesley Clark. Uh, so, General, first, I'm going to want to talk to you about what's going on at the border. But before that, can you just talk about the significance of these two uh, very important U.S. naval uh, carriers going into the region and what it is meant to do? Sure. Those two aircraft carriers and the and the flotillas that go with them. So you've got about 20 ships there. You've got tremendous capacity for not only the aircraft on each aircraft carrier, but the escorts and what they can do in the way of Tomahawk missiles and other things. Um, and so they're there as a warning. They're there as a deterrent to Iran. It's keep your hands off, stay out of it uh, or else, because um, the general thinking is that Hezbollah is not going to go in, of course, without Iran saying, go ahead. This ties Iran directly into the assault. So uh, on the other hand, you can be sure that Iran is watching this. They're calculating. They're wondering whether the Israelis are going to get so bogged down in Gaza, be mm -hmm. so uh, 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 tarnished by in world opinion that they could justify releasing Hezbollah and go for the finish of Israel. There is going to be that kind of thinking going on in Tehran. Those two aircraft carriers are really important to stop that kind of thought. And I just want to underscore, you say it is a deterrent. We have definitely heard some this morning uh, in interviews not ruling out the notion of U.S. troops being involved. I, I think it's important to put that into context. Uh, and it certainly does not seem as though the U.S. is going to get involved uh, in a very active way with U.S. troops in this conflict. The discussion is about how to get American hostages out and American civilians out, but mostly American hostages at this point. Yeah, that's right. And I'm sure that we've got a joint planning going on right now with the Israelis. If we could locate the hostages, if it's possible to put in an extraction mission, I'm sure we would uh, work with the Israelis to do that. Um, but uh, there's also the possibility of those uh, U.S. forces in the north actually having to engage should Hezbollah decide to launch its 150,000 rockets against Israel. And, uh, and Iran should be under no uh, illusion. Th those ships are not just there for show. Those mm -hmm. ships are ready to go. And on the president's order, they could go. So uh, as President Biden said, we're 100 percent committed to Israel. We're not going to allow the destruction of Israel. I really want to get your uh, your perspective on what is happening inside Gaza and the idea that, according to the White House, Hamas, they're the ones who stopped Americans from getting into Egypt via the Rafah border crossing. Uh, we're talking about uh, Palestinians. Uh, we're talking about, excuse me, we're talking in this case about Americans who are inside Gaza. Uh, these are civilians. What does it tell you, first of all, that that uh, crossing was closed? And what is your sense of why this really happened? And you see, we're showing our viewers a map of the area we're talking about now. Well, Dan, I think, you know, Hamas always looked at this as at least a two-phased operation. First is provoke the Israelis, do as much damage as you can, show how powerful you are, then fall back into Gaza and use the civilian population as a shield. And then attack Israel on the stage of world opinion and cause Israel to look like an evil uh, force that's uh, anti-humanitarian. And, and what's happening right now is that Hamas is losing the second phase already before the fighting's even started because the people there are getting out of the way. Hamas may be trying to keep them in position, but Hamas is failing to do that. They are evacuating the northern area despite Hamas roadblocks that big explosion we saw yesterday, I'd be very surprised if that was an Israeli explosion on a main evacuation route. That looks like something engineered by Hamas to intimidate its own people. Their view is that those people are, they're, they're, they're just human shields. They're collateral. They don't care about those people. What they're interested in is the destruction of Israel. And so the poor people in, in, in Gaza, as, as President Biden said, they're not all Hamas. There's a lot of really innocent people in there. Mm -hmm. They they need to be protected, too, and the United States and Israel are doing the best they can to do that. At the same time, Hamas needs to be eliminated, and that's what the Israeli objective is going to be eventually. But in this phase, it's already underway. Hamas is losing control of the population, 
And that's a huge loss for Hamas. I, I Just to underscore, we're, we're out of time, but just to underscore what you just said, that Hamas, which is supposed to be the leadership of Gaza, is trying to prevent innocent civilians from getting out of harm's way, getting out of a war zone because they think it helps them in the propaganda war. It, it's really important right. to, to talk about the difference there. Uh, General Wesley Clark, thank you so much. Appreciate you coming on.